We're now in our quiz and we're going to add a question. And in this case, it will be a true false question. So let's go add question. We go down to or we now have a list of questions. In this case, we don't have any in there yet, but we're going to add using the add button down the bottom right, a new question. Our choices are multiple choice, true, false, and a collection of others. We're going to use true, false. We select add. Now the categories are a little bit of a, a mystery to a lot of people. By default, I tend to suggest people unless uh, people leave it as the default for this course, unless you have a specific reason you're dividing into categories. So you can choose a category for this particular quiz, or you can leave it at the course category. And then there is a category level and then a system level. In most cases, the course level is fine. You can bring it down to default for task one, check your knowledge quiz. So that means these questions are categorized into this quiz, or you can leave the questions categorized into this course. We're going to leave them in this course. Question name, that's up to you what you call the question name. For us, this particular question, I'm just going to go and grab what it is. Question number one, check your knowledge. Question one, because out of my check the knowledge quiz, this is actually question one that we're putting in there. So I'm going to change it to that because that will make more sense when we're going back to try and find where that question belongs in our document that we use to create our questions. And the question text for question one is quite simple. We'll paste that in. So this is where the question text goes. It does Adobe Illustrator LA to create vector images. Question status, we can leave that as ready because it's not a draft question. The mark we're going to give for this is one. You can change that to whatever you like. General feedback is obviously where you put some general feedback uh, based on any answer that they give. This is the general feedback that you'll give. Now there's also uh, an ID number that belongs to the question and then whether the answer is true or the correct answer is true or false. In our case, it will be true. So does a W Illustrator LA to create vector images? Yes, it does. So the answer, correct answer is true. So we set that. We then have the option to put in feedback for a, the response if the student typed in true. We can then say, uh, well done, this is correct. Uh, or if they put in false, so they got the question wrong, please read more information about Adobe Illustrator or whatever you'd like to put in there. Then we also have the option for multiple tries, penalty for each incorrect try. We can leave that. We don't have to actually do anything with it. That's automatic and any tags that go with it. So that's all we need for a true false question. And it's quite simple. Let's save and continue editing. Actually, I should have said, let's save our changes. If you'd like to preview your question, you can click on the little preview question icon and that will show you what it looks like. Does Adobe Illustrator allow you to create vector images? Uh, in our case, the answer is true. So we can actually submit and finish. And it shows you what happens when you do that. Uh, in our case, because our quiz is set up to defer results, means that they don't get to see anything until we finish the whole quiz. If I start again, I can also say fill in correct answer, and that fills the correct response for us just so we can see what that is. And we don't need to do anything else. We can close that tab. And that's all we have to do to add a true-false question to a quiz.